Well, it's right now for you in the beating that left Steve Utash in a coma. That's right. One of the teenagers charged with a beating was in court today. He pleaded guilty to a lesser charge. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards joins us live with more. Now, Tara, did he say anything in court today? Well, Jeff and Joanne, he had a lot to say in court as he rehashed what happened the day of that brutal beating, even admitting to his role in the attack. He got hit two times. Then after he got hit the second time, I hit him and he stumbled. He stood before a judge admitting to his role in the brutal beating of Steve Utash. The move comes after 18-year-old Bruce Wimbush decided to plead to a lesser charge. Wimbush, originally charged with assault with intent to murder, could have spent the rest of his life behind bars. Instead, he now pleads guilty to assault with intent to do great bodily harm. By entering into this plea, that presumption of innocence is out the window. It's gone forever. Wimbush described how after Mr. Utash accidentally hit a 10-year-old boy with his pickup truck on Detroit's east side, the 54-year-old tree trimmer was struck with two blows to the head by two other men. Wimbush admitted he then hit Utash once in the jaw during that brutal attack in April. He said this all happened after he alleges Utash hesitated moments after the incident. And when you decided to hit Mr. Utash, you knew he was already injured by being stunned and dazed. Yes. And you wanted to add your force to him after he was already stunned and dazed. Is that correct? Yes. More people began to hit and strike him. Yes. And um, they were hitting him and he fell again. Yes. Okay. And they began to stomp him. Yes, sir. And you were in the crowd cheering it on. Yes. According to Wimbush, his emotions got the best of him. Uh, I have a little brother, sir. And. When I saw the kid, all I could see at the time was my little brother. And I got emotional and I let my anger take over me. And when Bush will be released on a $20,000 personal bond, he'll be given a tether and a 10 p.m. curfew. His other suspects in this case will be in court on Thursday. Meanwhile, the Utash family has no comment at this time. Reporting live from downtown Detroit, Tara Edwards. 7 Action News. Tara, thank you very much.